Hey everyone, Chris Shokiki back with another video. It's not going to be a review this time, but it's going to be an update video on two figures that I decided to mod. It's the Spider-Man or it's the Spider-Man PS4 Marvel Select Spider-Man Advanced Suit figure and the Marvel Legends Walmart exclusive Black Panther that came with the uh purple lines. You know, this type of figure. What is the head it comes on the with? But you know, I'll talk about what I did with this guy, because, I mean, you can clearly see what I already did, but I'll talk about him later, starting with Spider-Man. Now, if you remember my review, then you'll know that he didn't have much range in the torso or the head. Well, thanks to Parallel Universe, a YouTuber named Parallel Universe, I'm hoping I got that name right, he actually modded his figure to have more range. And he actually showed a video on how to do it. So now, you see his head. It could only it could, it could only like move up to like that far, which wasn't not which wasn't too much. Now, with the mod I did, check that out. He could look pretty much all the way up now, and that's great. And how it's done, if you can see there, I cut a little groove in the back of the neck. So you can have more possibility, and yeah, the head actually stays on. You can look all the way up now, pretty much. And another thing that he did on this figure that I decided that I did as well. He cut a little groove in the lower upper part and lower part of the abdomen, so now he can move his torso more forward, and that's fantastic. So yeah, I me. Mean, Obviously, if you have him posed right, it, does, it looks like it, there was no mods to it, but yeah, the moment you post him, you'll see the gaps, but that doesn't really bother me. I mean, obviously, you can see the gap in the back of the neck, but again, it doesn't really bother me that much. But one thing I also decided to do that Parallel Universe, that I don't think Parallel Universe did, was, was I took a Dremel and, you know, shaved down a bit of the arm, because originally they could only go up to that far. Which wasn't bad, but I figured I had the arms moving a, bit, a little bit more outward. So with that shaved, I'm able to move the arms about about that far outward now. I mean, it doesn't I mean it's it's a minor range improvement, but it's good enough for me. So yeah, this figure is much better now since I did those mods to the figure. I'm really glad I did it. And yeah, it's become pretty much one of my favorite Spider-Man figures now. That is until I get the vintage Marvel Legends Vintage Collection 2020 Spider-Man from the 90s animated show. But for now, this figure is great. This is my favorite one. I just want to show off what I did with this figure. Now to Black Panther. Obviously, you can see this is supposed to be the Black Panther from the Walmart, the Walmart exclusive Black Panther that had that purple line decal on the chest, shins, pretty much the purple line decal on him. Looking at the figure more and more, I decided I got sick of it, so I decided to just. And thanks to Pounds978, he made a video showing how to remove paint from the figure. Obviously take uh, acetone and a Q-tip and you just swipe quickly on the, uh, the painted parts. Now, it was a not really that big of, a pro big of a problem when I did it on the... You can see right here... <clears throat> I took the paint off the fists, if I can find them. I took the paint off the open claw hands. Okay, most of it, because there's a little bit of speckling there, but oh well. I took it off the forearms, the shins, the feet, the waist, as well as the abdomen. I even took it off the back with the Q-tip in acetone trick. 
The one thing though that I couldn't get off, that was much harder to take off, was on the chest. It was a lot more difficult to take off, and I didn't I was on it. I didn't get all of it, so I decided screw it, and I decided to just paint the whole thing, the chest part black. It took me a couple coats, but that's good enough. And yes, it's shiny because I used a uh, sealant on it. And it looks strange, but uh, and good thing is, I already showed you this head from the beginning. I didn't need to do anything with this head because. He already came with an alternate head that didn't have this paint job. So, I just popped this alternate head on and now, I have a Black Panther figure that, that's, yeah, I have a much better looking Black Panther figure. Now, I know there's a vintage collection Black Panther that has the same body mold as this one, where it doesn't have the, uh, you know, the purple lines on him, but he also has a bit of a uh, kind of bluish shine or something to it and I figured since I already had like three Black Panthers you know the Civil War Black Panther and as well as the this the two uh, Walmart exclusives Black Panther this one and the one that came with the cape and spear and alternate gripping hands so I'm fine with this one You know what? Because why? What? Why not? I'm just gonna swap with the hands. <clears throat> and like I said, I managed to get the paint off him, off the back of the hands. But yeah, that's what I did. I figured, why not? And I think I already said this in the review, but I kind of shaved down a bit of the uh, little joints here. So now you can, I can bend the knees much more inward than I could previously. So yeah, I'm happy. With, I'm happy with what I did. I just want to make this little quick update video on two figures that I modified. Again, thanks to Parallel Universe for showing a video on how to mod the, the Spider-Man figure, how to mod the torso and the head. And thanks to Pound 978, pound, no, Pound 978 for how to remove the paint from not not just figure, this figure, but any figure if you want to customize them. But yeah, that's what I did. I'm very happy with these two figures now. But anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say. I'll see you guys next time.